The very first detail to take care of when we begin to work on Popper 13 is the very first double stop, how do we find it out of the blue. And I would say that a good way to add security to that is to find the first note, the lowest A flat with a little left hand pizzicato and then tap the higher one before the bow checks on that. So I will be doing this a few times until I teach my left hand how to find that double stop independently because later on there will be a number of other uh, such locations where we will need to find a double stop in a high position or even a low position out of the blue and uh, that's the technique I would like to suggest that we uh, try. The next thing will be uh, finding out how much um, is the left hand going to press through all, all these uh, double stops in this etude and I would say the lightest possible pressure is the most beneficial so we don't travel with a great deal of um, uh, labor-like approach. So light pressure throughout is important and also we shift in bar number three and four as an example backwards. I think that going early and light will also be very beneficial. One last issue to discuss is what is the role of the bow throughout the entire etude? And I think it's a very important one. Specifically, it is important to have the bow sustain the sound so we have a good foundation of sound under the left hand, which therefore will feel much more confident when there's a good foundation under all this passage work. <laughs> right after this I will just jump now to the next challenge which begins in bar number 27 a descending uh, pattern of sixths that will benefit a great deal from our hand frame staying the same as we go backwards uh, with just a bit of expansion as we go lower and lower but the frame itself should stay the same to give us that discipline of uh, organization and not to think note by note the articulation and clarity will come from the left hand doing short segments or movements uh, to add the clarity and not from having the bow interrupt uh, its flow. In, in fact, it's important that we think of the bow as again being sustained anytime we have a long passage like that and the left hand will always provide articulation. I'll start now in bar number 25 to get me up there in position. <laughs> see already we are going to have a different kind of challenge starting now and particularly from bar number 33 on we have actually a melody that can be perceived um, for a number of bars with this tremolo like um, technique which will benefit from a great deal of uh, firmness in the fingertips of our left hand and from sustaining sustaining all the time the bow so those are the two most important issues throughout the next few bars in this unusual uh, challenge that Popper throws at us. also benefit from the same technique as when we started the etude 
finding the low E flat with the left hand pizzicato and then articulating the top uh, E flat with the third finger. And two bars later, we'll need again to find the octave out of the blue with the same kind of uh, technique. Two bars later, one more time in the low position. So I'm going to play those bars so you can see how that is being applied. begins in bar number 65 where we have now a chain of uh, different kinds of double stops not just thirds or octaves or six we have many other kinds however regardless of all these uh, challenges in the left hand I will still focus at least equally on what the bow can do to help me and that is to sustain a very slow bow while I negotiate the left hand challenges <laughs> is how do we deal with playing the chords at the end which are going to be at a much faster tempo so as I play slow you will see how I focus on the left hand being extremely quick in finding the next double stop or, or chord and um, that will help me as I go later in tempo so slowly to be something like this <laughs> early and as I go faster that will benefit my execution. Um. 